All right, guys, week seven, and what an amazing week. Seriously, I got so much done, I just I just couldn't believe it. Got everything I wanted to get done, plus more. I managed to get all the voice acting done for Ray. Completely done to a point where I was really happy with it. And, uh, yeah, couldn't, I didn't expect that. And also I managed to get uh, the creepy-looking doll's head put into the, the shot we were talking about last week. Just a quick ZBrush sculpt with some alpha planes, and then uh, painted it in Substance Painter 2. Does the job. And we got uh, keypads that I put in all the door fixture things. And they look like that up close. Because we have a shot coming up where he uh, punches in a passcode to get into the room. So I'll have to animate this at some point. Yeah, figure out how to do that. Probably like a switcheroo thing where the geometry is just sort of switch and I don't know. We'll have to see how. I'll have to do some tests. Anyway, I also managed to get four shots done. Yeah, four shots. I couldn't believe it. And um, yeah, so we're now 46, 47 seconds, which is almost double where we were at before. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, yeah, I'll play it for you right now. Just be warned that there is bad language in this. So kids, cover your ears. All right, enjoy. Jax, I'm on five. How do I find this guy? Uh, I know he's got gold teeth. Two of them, I think, right at the front. Bottom, maybe. Yeah, bottom. What? Gold teeth? You want me to find a guy down here in the dark? Based on his teeth. And that's all you got? I wish I had more to give you. He's been down there Fucking a while. hell, Jax. Probably all look the same, man. Look, find this guy and get your ass up here. Oh, and watch your back. There's a lot of strays on that floor. Copy that. Yeah, I love that shot. It's definitely going to be my desktop background for at least a week. Uh, yeah, see, so we're at almost 47 seconds. It's getting awesome now, I've got to say it. Uh, this next shot coming up is going to be really interesting because it's the creature shot. He's going to be looking right at one in this room. So, what am I going to do? I don't know, I've got to design this thing and hopefully I can get it done for next week. So, it's either going to be a pretty sweet next week video or it's going to be pretty shit. So, we'll see. Subscribe and follow and find out. Hopefully I can get this thing designed and, and it's going to be looking cool. I've got a couple of guidelines to go on. Uh, one, his mouth needs to be intact, right, the creature, because the whole thing's about him looking for uh, a certain creature that has... Ooh, wait a minute. Uh, fuck, I don't know what it's talking about now. Um, yeah, he's looking for... a. Uh, a certain creature with his teeth intact, right? So that there's a, a gold tooth in it. So that needs to be part of the creature. His mouth can't change. And uh, it was once a human, so it's got to be somewhat humanoid. And also it's it's locked up in these things, right? Like in, they're like residential areas. So they're not like thick, crazy prison. So they, they, they're not strong enough to get out of this thing. But I want them to be strong enough to pose a threat to even these guys with armored suits on. So if it was like a one-on-one, -on -one, it wouldn't just walk in the park for him. Do you know what I mean? So I want it to be a formidable opponent, I guess you could say. So I'm thinking tentacles, maybe? Like short, stubby ones, maybe? That can grip and maybe wrap around his arm a little bit and crush? I don't know. And that way it wouldn't be able to break the glass very well. I don't know, there's definitely some work that needs to go into this. So I'm going to see how that goes. But yeah, we'll see how it is. I um, just want to say thanks to Sheldon, who uh, gave a great comment on the last uh, video when I asked about um, what I could add to the environment to make it look a bit more lived in. And what a great idea. Uh, I'm definitely going to go for that. Uh, when, he, when he gets to uh, the corridor up a little bit more, I'm going to deck that out, just like you said. Make it look like there was a birthday party there or something. So maybe put some happy birthday signs up, a couple of balloons maybe tied to the side. That will be pretty eerie. And uh, yeah, maybe a few gifts or something. I think that will really uh, help sell the whole environment as a place where people once lived. 
So yeah, definitely subscribe, follow and all that stuff if I didn't already say that. And yeah, have a great weekend and thanks for watching. See you later guys. Bye.